Hey, what's up? This is Matt Dietz, and this is Agency Launch. This is the podcast where I talk about what it's like to run an insurance agency. I have been an agency owner for almost 18 years. I have about 4,400 policies, and I run my agency with just two employees. So there's three of us here. I talk about sales and marketing strategies for insurance agents. I talk about how to staff for insurance agencies. I talk about how to give great and unexpected customer service. And I use my agency as a way to tell stories and to give experiences on things that work and things that don't work. So thank you for listening. Real quick, I am running a end of year flash sale for everything on agency launch. This is my broke agent Black Friday New Year's resolution deal. I understand that money is tight when you're a new agency owner. I remember my first folio, I made $204. And I'm trying to make my course available to those who really need it. So I'm giving 50% off for a limited time. Uh, this course, it'll run you what? What is that? Like 80 bucks a month, $80 a month uh, for, this, for this platform, uh, which is... An, it's incredibly underpriced, um, but I want to make it available to those who really need it right now. So if you use the code 2023 when you check out, you can get anything in Agency Launch for 50% off. So get in. All right. So today I wanted to just kind of roll it back a little bit and talk about my strategy when it comes to growing your business and uh, marketing and uh, kind of some you know mile high views on my thoughts and theories when it comes to marketing when you start your agency the one thing about running a business any business any sort of business that you are going to start you may be really good at your craft so you might be excellent at sales okay you may build the best widget in your industry you know you may be able to outsell whoever you needed to outsell on your team when you were an employee but there's so much more to running a business than just one thing maybe you're like i said maybe you're good at making one thing maybe of one skill but the one thing that you have to do well and you have to do well quickly is market okay if you do not have anybody to sell to it doesn't matter if you're a great salesperson, right? You've got to get in front of the people to show your skills and get the sales. And so I have something that I've kind of pieced together over the years that I think is important. And I've kind of broken it down in a way that I think will help you understand. So um, let me get into it. I think you have to set up your marketing in two ways. You have to have what I call short-term marketing and you have to have long-term marketing. Especially in the beginning, you have to be doing short-term marketing in the beginning. What is short-term marketing? So my definition of short-term marketing is kind of out there, but I like it. Um, and it's something that I think if you've been doing this for a few months and you're struggling to find people to sell to, maybe you've had some success, maybe not. But like if I told you that you had to write X amount of policies or X amount of premium before the end of the month or in the next 30 days or in the next two weeks, whatever, this is just a theory. Uh, if, so you have to sell whatever, 25 policies between now and the end of the month, or you would get fired. What would you do? I like to even go a little bit more extreme because it's kind of fun. Um, what would you do if I told you you had to sell 25 policies or you would die? Okay. I know that's totally extreme and ludicrous, but I want you to think about it. Seriously, think about it. Like, what would, what would you do if you were, if you were going to die, if you didn't sell 25 policies, right? Now, what do you come up with? All right. What would you, what would you really do? Like you would be pulling your hair. Well, you'd be, you'd be doing everything you possibly could to be getting in front of people, you know, to, to quote their insurance right? You'd be going through every contact in your phone. You would be calling and texting. You'd be hitting your Facebook in whatever platform you're on socially. You would be asking and asking and asking. You'd be pulling people in from off the street. You would be going to every marketing thing that you needed to go to. You would just be, you'd be asking people and asking people and asking people. Okay. So my question is like, why aren't you doing that now? Okay. You got to write the business. We don't get paid unless we write business. No one's going to show up to your office or call your phone or send you an email or hit, throw you a DM, you know, just because you got your license and you got appointed with a carrier. No one knows what you do. 
Okay. You have to tell people what you do. You have to ask for people's business. All right. And that's how you're going to, that's how you're going to make sales. Now, so I want you to write down like five things that you would do if you had to sell 25 policies between now and the, and then in the next 30 days or whatever. So, and then I want you to just do it. There's a lot of, there's, there's this paralysis that happens when we want to learn how to do these things. I get it. Like you're listening to a podcast to learn how to do things, right? Uh, maybe you're watching, you know, YouTube videos, or you're reading books and you're, you're doing all of these things to try and learn, but there has to be a point in time where you flip the switch and you do. All right. And you have to do it and you have to fall on your face a hundred times um, in order to get this business. You're only going to get better if you're at your craft. If you do it, you're only going to know how to handle certain more and more objections uh, more gracefully and better the more and more objections that you get. Okay, so you have to get out there and practice. Your first few months is all about practice, right? Learn what people say when you ask them for insurance. Learn how to have the conversations with people. Learn what lines work for you. You know, learn how to approach people in a non-threatening manner, right? Learn how to engage in conversations, learn how to give people value, learn all of these things, but you, but learn by doing, you know, put yourself out there. You got to be vulnerable. You got to, you have to take risks. Um, and you know, you really have nothing to lose other than somebody telling you no. Okay. So take everything that you've learned or everything that you're learning and start putting it into play, right? That is short-term marketing. You're going to have to do more short-term marketing than long-term marketing in the beginning of your career because that's how you write business, okay? The, the theory that works is at the same time as you are writing policies and doing short-term marketing and asking people for business is you have to start building relationships with referral sources, Okay. So you have to, along with your short-term marketing, you have to do what I call long-term marketing, which is you have to go out and strategically align with people who are going to send you business, all right? The top people on our food chain are mortgage brokers, all right? You want to get in front of mortgage brokers, and you want to get them to send you business, okay? Who else is going to send you business? Well, what about, like, accountants, um, you know, lawyers, uh, maybe people in the insurance industry that you don't write their products. Maybe you align with people who write Medicare policies and you can get, say, look, I'll refer anybody to you that's, six, that's turning 65 or 65 and over if you'll, re if you'll refer clients back to me who maybe uh, you can help me write their PNC, you know, things like that. So you want to strategically align with people that are going to send you business. That takes a long time, okay? It just does. Earning trust can be quick, but you have to really respond when the referrals come your way. You have to take care of people. You have to um, be on their radar when these opportunities arise. Mortgage brokers are really good. You want to be on their radar because they are the ones asking. They ask people. They have to ask every client that they sit with, who is your insurance with? Like I, I don't know of any other industry that, has, that asks that, you know, other than a car dealer. Um, when you're buying a new car, because they have to have proof of insurance when you buy a car. But I have found that car dealers and used car dealers aren't the best source for new for for referrals. They just it just I tried it. It just it didn't work for me. Okay, unless you have an agent, unless your agency is inside of like a you know Nissan dealership, and it's part of their process to roll all their clients right by your office. Hey, that. That would work, you know, and they write a lot of business that way, but you're probably not in that situation. So how are you going to do all of this? Well, I've got a free asset that I'm giving out to whoever asks for it. It's uh, how to write 20 policies in a week, and it has 10 strategies on short-term marketing. So if you want to send me a text at 208 213 8809 and just send me the text 20 policies, I will send you the link and get you started right there. So why don't we do that? So 208-213-8809, that's my texting community. I will immediately send you a free download you know, on how to write 20 policies in a week using 10 strategies. So let's do that. So I just wanted to share all of that with you today. If you, have, uh, if you want to connect with me, my texting community is a great start. You can find me on LinkedIn as well. You can find me on Twitter and 
Instagram at Dietz Agency. I am talking with agents every week, trying to help you guys point you in the right direction, try to give you the uh, help, help you build the right habits and build the right systems because this is a systems based business. If you build the right systems, if you build relationships with the right people, the way that this works is eventually your long term marketing, if you do it right, will pay off and you will not have to do short term marketing. I don't. At this point in my career, my phone rings every day with people who want to buy insurance from me, and it has been done by using this strategy, okay? Right is right business today, earn relationships for business tomorrow, and I don't have to go out and ask people because people are asking me, okay? So thank you so much for listening, and keep up the good work.